I just got my FabFitFun box in the mail and I am so excited to dive into this. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Just got myself ready for the day and we are doing a day in the life of vlog today. So uh, I just got my FabFitFun box in the mail. First of all, how cute is this packaging? Can you even with the popsicles? and it's so festive, I love it. I have partnered with FabFitFun in today's video, so thank you so much to them. Um, I already know what a couple of things are in this box because I handpicked them myself. Um, they did give me a discount code for $10 off. You guys can um, get $10 off your first box. They are uh, a subscription box that is filled with lots of different items from like beauty, lifestyle, fashion, uh, all of that good stuff. And um, you can do a yearly membership or you can do uh, seasonal because this is a se seasonal box to get it once a season. Um, for one box is $54.99, but with my discount code, you'll save $10. So you can handpick your uh, a few different items if you're doing the monthly subscription. If you're doing the yearly, you can pay, handpick like all of them. So it's up to you what you decide. These make the perfect gift. The value of just a couple of these full size items is worth more than what you pay for the entire box itself. So such a good value can be up to $300 value. Um, so the first thing that I did pick out when I saw this, I was like, yep, have to have it because this is, Totally my favorite ever, especially going into the summer. The Tula um, sunscreen. This is the Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. I use this. I use this all summer long, and it's awesome because it goes underneath your makeup. It can go underneath your makeup, or you can just wear it on its own. And I love this daily sunscreen. This is a full size sunscreen too, which is perfect because I just ran out of my last one. Full size. Tula uh, sunscreen. I also got this full size Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream, and I've never tried an Elemis product before, but I've heard about them so much recently, and they're like all the rage. So I definitely wanted to see what the hype was all about. And a collagen night cream sounds like it's right up my alley. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good too. Full size. I can give this give this a try tonight. I have a full size cuticle oil. This is um, exactly what I need because my cuticles are beyond dry and I'm not, I'm gonna spare you, but they're really, really dry. And so I thought that that was gonna be a perfect item for me. And that's a huge bottle too. Like that's gonna last me so long. Look how big that is. That is huge. I love that you get full size items in here. Like the value is beyond what you pay for it. That's for sure. Mmm, it smells good too. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay. Okay. That smells amazing. And my cuticles instantly, <laughs> instantly look better because they were so bad. Okay, mom duty call. Mom duty called for just a second. Sydney's playing in her playroom, being such a good girl. I was like, if you're a really good girl for the next couple of minutes, you could have an Easter treat or whatever. <laughs> so she's being such a good girl, playing by herself for four minutes. The next thing I got was this Lasting Smile Sea Salt and Citrus Aromatherapy. I believe it's a soy candle, which is supposed to be better for you and the environment. Mmm, so. I haven't burnt a candle in so long. I think this is gonna be perfect like bathroom candle. Mm. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Satin Lipstick. And I'm very, very excited because I've been very newly into lipsticks again. I went through a period of time after I had Sydney where I didn't wear lipstick ever and now I'm so into it. And I every time I go to um, like the beauty store i want to look for lipstick colors and I, I stick to neutral um what is this one a butterscotch oh yeah that's going to be absolutely perfect over a lip liner i believe there were a couple of different neutral colors to choose from let's swatch this yeah it's more of like a really peachy nude color uh but i feel like that's gonna look good over a, a lip liner or something maybe just like to pop it in the center i could actually probably do that right now thing and then like top it with a lip gloss just to give you that little like pout in the middle and then kayo body scrubber Ooh, what is this all about 
Ooh, this looks up my alley for like a self tan day. It's a silicone body scrubber, so that is right up my alley. I have nothing to exfoliate my body with when I am uh, in the shower, like trying to self tan or something. Ooh, and that feels really nice. So immediately going to use this tonight. And then this is the last thing that came in my box. It came with a set of two glass canisters with lids. Ooh, good, good little seal on that. You guys know I have an obsession with containers and aesthetic. And I have in my kitchen um, on my shelf very similar ones and it's just my vibe i love these so much they're the glass with like that wooden lid top set of two what i love about the fat fit fun box too is such an awesome mix between you know fitness lifestyle beauty fashion all kinds of different products and i love that you can choose your own if you desire. Um, my code is chicmama for $10 off. You guys can get $10 off your first box. So an incredible deal. I will have the link in the description box below as well as my code for you guys to go ahead and uh, check out FabFitFun. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Sydney's been dying to go outside, but we have the landscapers here and they've been here like doing cleanup, you know, getting ready for the spring and like cleaning up the yards and all of that. So they've been here for a couple of days straight. Um, so we haven't been able to play outside yet today. Um, and then I just had to do some work and she's been in the playroom. So let's go see what she's up to. Are you all done? Yeah. What are you up to? What are you playing, honey? You're playing with your horses? Yeah. Aww. Press the letter or instrument to play jukebox. What's my horses? What my horse? Oh, what a good girl. Thank you. Now can I have a snack? Yeah. What do you want? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, now have a chewy. Did you say a chewy? I did. I want, I want my East. I want, I want. Um, I. Sydney decided to open up her Pez. Mommy, that she mommy, got from Easter. Pez dispenser. Mommy. So you want them to know the flavors of the candy? Yeah. The purple is vanilla cupcake. I want vanilla cupcake. You don't want to hear the rest? I want to hear the rest, but I want vanilla cupcake. Okay. The red is cherry, and the yellow is lemon. So you want this? You want vanilla cupcake? Yeah. Okay. Because I look. Because I have the hiccups. No, I take that because I look. No, uh, you can't have all of them. Just, just stop. Can I tell you when that's enough? Bye. Thank you for being a really good girl. I don't think you. Being patient too. Hopefully the landscapers are done soon. Yeah, so we can play outside. Yeah. Oh. Is it hard? There you go. Is it good? <laughs> Sydney's been hard at work coloring. Aw, look at that rainbow dog. It's so cute. I'm calling it rainbowy. Rain rainbowy? Yeah, because it's rainbow, 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 rainbow. We are heading to the grocery store because I desperately need chicken. No, we're not. Protein. We're not going to the grocery store? No. I def desperately need chicken or protein for dinner. Um, 
yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go pick up a couple of things, but you know how that goes. Every time I go to the grocery store for one thing or a couple of things. Alright, go figure. The only two chicken things that I buy ever were both out of stock. They didn't have any rotisserie chickens. Um, I don't know if they were just like cooking and just not out yet. I wasn't patient enough to wait. Um, and then the chicken tenders, like the fresh chicken that I buy, they didn't have. They had a ton of breasts, but I just whatever so I decided to change my meal thought um, I'm gonna do some like like Asian noodles or Polynesian noodles um, I might do like I had made those before sort of on my channel uh, from like a Pinterest recipe so I got um, green onions I already have egg noodles at home I did get pineapple juice for those I have carrots as well carrots and peppers so we will do some sort of like noodle different noodle Sydney wanted cucumber um, for vegetable for school that's all I needed oh and then she got treats these were the tree oh and I needed toothpaste I needed some toothpaste and then Sydney picked out two treats unicorn mac and cheese and fruit loops <laughs> So I'll get to making those noodles, I guess. All right, so for the sauce, I have pineapple juice. Uh, it calls for soy sauce, but I'm gonna go ahead and use whatever I have left over for low sodium soy sauce and coconut aminos. I only have a tiny bit left. Um, we have brown sugar, and then it calls for rice vinegar, and I don't know where my rice vinegar is, so. I'm just gonna use the white wine vinegar and hopefully it is fine. I don't know, apparently this was a fail. Uh, it'll still be fine, I think, because I'm just gonna wing it versus last time I made it um, according to the recipe and it was just way too sweet and like way too much. So I'm just gonna wing it myself. And then I'm gonna add uh, like ginger and sesame seeds to thicken it. I'm gonna add some cornstarch as well. I'm ignoring all cooking instructions and I'm just gonna add this and hopefully they cook. <laughs> uh, this might not be a very good idea, but we shall see. I added a bunch of water um, and then a pineapple juice as well and kind of have been taste testing yeah um, but yeah it needed way more volume of liquid and the water just basically like evaporates anyway but it's enough volume to kind of cook the noodles through I'm gonna go ahead and add sesame seeds and the green onion I 
I meant to add carrots and I totally forgot. All right, what do you think of it? It's great. You, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, it is way too sweet and salty. Wait, I even can like stick food for life. I've already had like two bites and I'm, I want to be done. I remember last time thinking the same thing. So I bet, I guess I have to find a different recipe. It's just so rich. Yeah, I think the one it's just because it's so much. And I guess now I remember from last time, even though I made it myself, the ingredients are not as you have expected. So since that was a fail and now it's so late, oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give Sydney one of these uh, Philly cheesesteak bao buns. And I have like sliced up tomatoes. I don't know. This is such a fail. Mm. Is that better, honey? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the noodles? I was. The noodles were yucky. Yeah. longest I've stayed up in a long time working and just yeah I usually have been trying to be much better at going to bed at a decent hour but now I'm done editing and it's a school night and I um gotta wake up with Sydney of course <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead take off my makeup do my skincare and hit the hay because I am exhausted and hopefully get some good sleep but thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll talk to you in the next one bye